So this is a black bream. We get various breams over here. We get cooches, the occasional white bream, red bream. We're seeing more breams in recent years, or a lot more bream, and I believe it's because the waters are warming up. So they're coming up from the med, that kind of area. And as the sea warms, we get these and we lose things like cod nut we used to have. It's a very flat fish, you see like that. It's a discus type of fish. They're excellent eating. I always liken them to bass because of their sort of oily, same kind of texture, flesh, and taste very, very similar. See, so he's got his fin up. They're like that under the water most of the time. They do actually have a little stripy pattern, you see, you usually see it if you're snorkeling and you see them. They'll grow up to around about six pounds maximum, but most fish you catch will only be around a pound to two pound if you're lucky. But this is an excellent size for eating. Anything smaller we tend to throw back. We keep these sort of size and a bit bigger up to say two pound usually. We do get them in the pots quite often. They will go in crab pots probably because of the baits. They do like to eat, they have little tiny mouth, lots of little teeth like a little piranha. And you'll notice that when they bite, they're very chattery kind of bites. And they do like to eat squid, little bits of mackerel. They'll eat worms, any small little crustaceans and things they'll attack. And they travel around in huge shoals. If you get one, you probably will get a lot more. So, a lovely biting fish and a lovely eating fish. The black bream. So this is a cooch's bream. They're red, you think they'd be a red bream, but they're actually a cooch's bream. Technically redder than the red bream. They have a face and a head a bit like a gilt head bream. lovely little fin there and they have little tiny blue it's not so blue on this one we get little tiny blue tips to the tail and you get little bits on them where it's blue like around the eye and that they feed on well we catch them on um, little bits of mackerel but I believe they'll eat other things like little crabs worms anything like that a bit like it's very similar to black bream in fact you'll catch them amongst the black bream quite often they're mixed up with them um, a heck of a fighting fish, I can tell you that much. And they can grow really big. I mean, these things can grow six, seven, eight, nine pounds. They can get real big. I don't know what the record is at the moment, but it's huge. Um, most of the ones we get are sort of this size, a bit bigger, a bit smaller, sort of in this range. And it's one of my favourite eating fish, that's for sure. There you go. Cooch's green. Now as a comparison, you can see the difference between the two fish, very red, so the black, this one's not quite as black, these can be stripy looking as well, but the mouths are different, and if that will show up, and the coloration is obviously different, but both excellent eating fish. A bit more fight to it this time. Oh, nice. That's what we wanted. Nice bream. Lovely fish, that. There she goes again. Don't catch the jigs, there will be a right old mess. Oh, I'm getting bites as well now. Yeah. What have you got? Oh, crikey, move. Getting bites too. Yep. Bream on my end. Oh, that's a belter. Look at them two. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, of course yours is bigger, I know. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, I was just going to keep that She was thinking it though, I heard it. I was thinking She's like, yeah, but mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> but still, cracking great big green. Yeah, lovely. And I caught mine on switch. Look at that. Another, another nice one. Yeah. Not a giant one, but good, solid sized bream, that. Bream is on the menu. You're in straight away, yeah? Yeah, right on the mark wheel. Yeah. Come 
back. So you give it a rest, come back, and then they're here again. Ooh, that's not, that might be a double. Or are you going for the monster? Yeah, it's all right. Eh? Nice. Gotta get one. That's fine. Look at him. So the rigs I use for catching bream, this is the most common one I use, which is basically a bead, swivel, bead, then down to another bead, swivel, bead, 
and you put your snoods on the swivel and it just stops them tangling. They can spin around like that or they can spin the other way so they don't get twisted up. This works quite well. I normally put it on about a 30 pound line because you need quite a strong line. And I have been known to catch sort of bass, four or five pound bass on this. In fact, I've caught a 23 pound Kong one from one of these rigs with a 1-0 hook. So there you go. And it's as simple as that. Or you can make it even simpler. And how's that? Well, you've got your loop at the top, which is attached to your main line. And all you do is you get your line like that, make a loop, double loop it so it won't slip, tie it off to however long you want it, like that. And then you can put as many as you like. I'd go two or three, four even, like that. Put a hook on that loop, bit of bait on it, job's done. And we use that a lot. And that's, that's about as basic as you can get with it. Won't cost you much to make that rig. Now, use heavier line, like I say, because you will get other fish will grab the bait sometimes, like maybe a large bass, maybe a large pollock, that kind of thing. So you want to be prepared for that. Plus, if you get several fish and they're good sized bream fighting in different directions, they could snap your line. So, And then on the bottom, you just uh, tie the weight either to the bottom of this or you can put a little breakaway on there if you're fishing rougher ground. And you think you might snag your weight, which can be useful at times because I've brought in bream before over rocky areas and my weight's got trapped in the bottom. In fact, there is a video where we lose a gilt head. Same thing happens. Weight went into the bottom. I tried to pull it. It jolted out, but it jolted the fish off. And that was the end of that. Gilt head, it was gone. It got away. The one that got away. Now, for um, bait wise, you would use, well, for bream, black bream, you can use um, mackerel pieces, squid. Scallop frills is a very good one, and ragworm will catch always. Same as um, with the cooches, most of the ones I've had have been uh, on mackerel pieces. But another method I've actually caught cooches bream on is little tiny spinners like this. If you want to go out and uh, fish really light gear, you know, little spinning rod, little telescopic rod, easy to carry around, little fixed spool, little spinner like that. You can have loads of fun with that. Chuck them out. If there's cooches out there, you will catch them. But you'll catch things like pollock, mackerel, that sort of thing at the same time. So it uh, mixes it up a bit. But that's basically how you catch bream. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. With bream as well, when you get a bite in that, you can move the line. If you feel your line's not right or you had a bite, you move it. You can stop and the bream will come back. Because normally the bream are in mass. So you'll get plenty. And here comes the plane. And this is the end of the video.